Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Life on Mars review. And this one, and also my last one, one, of course. Well, for now, will I bother with it again in the future? Possibly, but yeah. And this one's on the Excavation Searcher. So we'll start off with the large box here. And the Lego and Life on Mars logos, Excavation Searcher there, and the odd border that we've seen for all these sets of course and recommended ages 8 through 12 set number 7316 and has 466 pieces and, uh, oops Dang. okay well on to the back of which you see lego lego and the old slogan just imagine and also free lego club join in thing and also all the different features of it, how you can mix and match the bits of it, of course, and yeah. And also set number again, and lego.com, of course. And also, uh, which you might get with these older sets is that the box is a little different, I guess. So there's some sort of slip out tray that holds all the pieces, and, and this main part is like a slip cover, and but of course help make it more fun but it was just with the more larger and more expensive sets of course but and of course with earlier sets from the 80s and 90s yeah 1980s and 90s they kind of did a little bit different with like a tray of with the figs in it and everything yeah well it was one of the last times that happened but yeah so this definitely a sign at the time spent Now onto the yeah, booklet, oh, which same picture as on the front of the box and everything. Then add of some of the other sets that there were, of course. And then how you can combine it with a Recon Mac RP, of course, and all the different uh, swap features of it. And then the last building steps, of course. And also, do you get? Also included is this little uh, join-in Lego catalog thing where you can like red sign in and send in and all. But of course nowadays you just go online to do and yeah. And also included is this mini catalog of course which advertises plenty of other stuff from the time of course. Which of course if you follow just too good and all they kind of summarize some of these, but yeah. And so now on to the three mini things included with this set of course. So first off, we get uh, so so three of these, but. Two are exclusive to this set, and so first off, we get the only two that are exclusive are Canopus with a lightish or tan uh, body and legs, of course, and and of course, like all of these, which are different color, or I mean, sort of tealish uh, baldroid arms and head pieces, of course. And as for his. Uh, Head prints kind of done interesting with visor piece and a monocle or something. And next to which is Pollux in the uh, sandish purple color, like we've seen with the uh, Zam Wessel in the 2002 uh, Star Wars set, of course. And some interesting face print there, like with some breathing apparatus or for whatever reason. And then, oh, whoops. And then last we get Vega, which is the most common in most of these sets. So, and of course, with kind of plain odd uh, face printing, similar to the of Cassiopeia's, but without the eyelashes, of course. And also, and of course, same pieces in orange, quite, you know, despite being kind of common. But yeah, although what I think is they also should have included uh, the Cassiopeia mini fig, so you don't have to get the big large Martian base set as well even though this set does kind of connect to that but also but again still would have liked to have that included in here 
so for those who couldn't have afforded that one also get as well but yeah and of course from the back view nothing much from there of course but yeah and that is it with the mini thing and, uh, hang on a sec okay First of all, uh, hang on. First off is oh, it is this this little uh, play sec playground or playset type section where or kind of base of it, which as you see does have that uh, cockpit canopy piece there, but in solid tan, kind of interesting. But if you're familiar with the Ensign Al. Oh, also the classic blaster pieces, but in tan as well. But plenty of tan in this set, of course. And they do fold it out, and those kind of archway type pieces, which we haven't probably haven't seen since the time of this set, of course. And of course, these like sticking out pins here, which uh, which do attach to the mech itself. Would probably just for loading up and everything. And of course, do have that a classic space archway piece, but in a uh, sandish purple, quite nice. Which also common in some of this, these sets, of course. And I have this little loader type piece, probably from like Rock Raiders. And of course, not probably to hold one of the boulders that are included with this set. And on this uh, end of which has this like dish like piece and a control panel here and of course a couple of studs to fit one of your Martian minifigs on too and, and the main section does have a pair of tubes that lead through it and a uh, teal or turquoise uh, what do you call it vent pieces there just randomly would have been in sand purple as well but yeah and oh also to mention is those two little pins right there is so you can connect one bit of the like big large uh, right here the big large uh, arrow tube hanger set which which that single bit of it which attaches to there well if you had that you can do so And so, oh, also to mention is how it's kind of set like that is also like in the arrow tube hanger has two of those for the uh, two mech sets, of course. Easy for traveling and loading up, of course, but yeah. And that is it. And now on to the excavation searcher itself. So quite large and cool for the time. So like without that side build of which, probably be like around uh, 30 40 dollars for the time but all together yeah, brings it up to 50 so of course so of course still a sign of the times where something at that price point would get you a big cool fun set of course so on to the uh, front part of which would as you can see it does have the can regular canopy like piece like some of the other mechs kind of did and also one of those odd curved slope pieces which some kind of thing a little duplo wish but nice to see them used here of course and of course enough space for room to fit your one of your Martian minifigs into a course and let them clip on to these if you want Uh, okay. And fold it, of course. And also, do get those, have some of those odd Technic panel pieces in uh, in tan, quite nice. So, of course, and also, as for the front arms, which does have that clip on thing, just like the uh, Recon Mech HP set also did, but in orange. Quite nice for mocking, of course, and also clips in and out 
of course, and also does have one of those older style rubber band pieces, which obviously break apart over time, of course. But also forgot to mention on top is a little robot arm piece from other classic space sets holding uh, a dish piece, probably to be headlights or something, but and also like in one of the some of the other sets is that kind of tile piece on there, of course. Also, and if you wonder, like, there should be two of these on here. Why is there one on here? Well, kind of lost it there, but I'll find it eventually, but yeah. And on for this side of which, another classic uh, dish piece, or as what some like to call Kopaka's shield from Bonacle, of course, but in orange. Nice for mocking, of course, and two-piece or cylinder piece on there, of course. And as for the leg, all four of these legs, which, as you can see, has some of our, you have those large uh, foot pieces, but in dark brown, quite nice for mocking. And also, those, those larger uh, slope pieces, but in tan, with some nice prints to them. Which kind of similar to that of the like, which kind of like the smallish slopes that in the two mech sets, but instead has some, but a little larger, of course. But yeah. And as for this middle section, as you can see, which does have a couple of those classic boulder pieces in trans orange, older style kind. And these two bits can come outwards, so, which that hold it in, of course. But although they are studded on, but if you like open these up and do have some of those classic rock pieces with a cylinder on it, of course. And down below it is what's kind of pinned underneath is this little scout a speeder thing or something which, which do have a couple of clips in a stand for you can like, like fit your up and fig, figs on to a course and fly around Mars of course and as for the back section which as you can see has a base piece for one of the other Martian figs of course and also Three of the like ratchet joint type bricks on there, and another uh, clip piece for that, so you can uh, take the those the rocks and put them on to it, of course. And so now on to the main feature. One of the features is where you can uh, take that off, and also take that part off. And of course, clip it right onto there, and it's just about kind of like the, like some of the other, like the two other mech sets of the way set of the line, of course. And also this center part of it also kind of detaches, and this is like that on its own. So plenty. So it's quite a bit of fun for, from a single set, of course, which we do sometimes get in sets, of course. And so now, on to the final verdict. So, overall, this I think of which is a, a quite cool set. Like, plenty of, plenty of stuff for that. A playset like build and a large mech, of course. And although the minifig selection, uh, quite good. But although, I think, like I said, could have included an extra one. But that's alright. But yeah. Although I can still kind of forgive it for how it is, but yeah. And also do get plenty of good tan pieces and also uh, panel pieces in tan, but yeah. And also, so, but and of course, if you have that, the other set, mech sets can swap with this and yeah. 
and also of course, and also uh, although the uh, size and price per piece of which quite good for what it was, but minus inflation and everything, but yeah. And so now, if, if any of y'all still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And what is next next Throwback Thursday? Well, stay tuned. And yeah. And so that is it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.